issue that we have is uh, because my wife and I are both nurses on the front lines, our hospital, um, we're needed there. And um, with childcare, you know, we're, we're kind of waiting for that hit, uh, that big hit to come. Our hospital now is having us reuse masks, put them in paper bags and tape them on the doors of the patients' rooms with our names on them. So, you know, we're reaching in and out of a dirty bag and putting it on until we find out the patient's positive, which could be a week later. You know, we're, we're all um, on our unit. You know, we, we know what we signed up for. We're nurses, we're taking care of sick people. We know, like, we have the chance to get sick. We put on our happy faces, go from patient to patient, you know, taking care of them. But there is a, an undertone of dread throughout the whole unit, throughout the hospital that um, this is something serious. You know, we're, we're playing Russian roulette with our, with our lives and our families' lives by reusing these masks. Definitely not fun. I don't recommend it for anybody. Like all these protesters who are out there wanting to go get a haircut. Um, I'm hoping whatever happens after this, you know, it, it's um, it changes the, the the U.S. and that you know we realize like what's important, what's not important, how we need each other to survive. If it wasn't for for my union president and other members of my union officers fighting for me, uh, I don't know where I would be. You know, a lot of people they shoot down unions, and you don't realize like behind the scenes when 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 you need them, they're there.